the best graphic settings for City Skylines 2. Let's get started. The very first thing you need to look at is the virtual texturing. If you do not let your game completely load before you load your save, it, the graphics will not look great and it will look very grainy. Now let's get into our graphic. So once your city loads, you immediately want to go to the top right and go into settings and click on options. The very first thing we're gonna look at is the performance preference. While we were testing City Skylines 2 beta, we realized that we have frame rate, balance, and simulation speed. We noticed that balance worked out the best out of all the settings. Next is autosave. Now, early on when testing City Skylines 2 beta, autosave enabled would crash our City Skylines 2 city. So I know this function is working again, but I just chose not to use it. So use this setting, autosave, at your own discretion. Next is our screen resolution. Obviously I'm playing at 1440p and 165 Hertz, but City Skylines 2 gives you some really amazing options where you're just not stuck with four or five options. Now next, I do wanna show you, you have to disable these functions as of right now. The very first thing is depth of field mode. And then next, what we wanna go into is the dynamic resolution scale quality. Make sure that is disabled. The reason why we're disabling these functions is because while we are testing City Skylines, we wanted to have the best performing game possible. Obviously, when you are recording in City Skylines, you don't want everything to look jittery, blurry, and you don't want the FPS rate to actually take a dump on you. So obviously, we wanted the best performance possible. So next is the fog quality settings. This is actually optional. I just prefer not to have fog in my City Skylines game, especially when I'm recording. So that's definitely optional. It doesn't really hurt your game at all. Next is volume metrics quality settings. Make sure you please disable this function. The reason behind that is because Colossal Order, when we were testing out this game, mentioned that if you're playing with volume metrics quality settings and depth of field quality settings, if you're both, if you both have those enabled, it will severely hinder your game and make your GPU actually kind of overwork itself at 97%. And we don't want to destroy your GPU when playing City Skylines too. So that's just something to keep in mind. Next and lastly is motion blur. So when you're moving, you're gonna, you know, sometimes you notice that there's a blur. Well, anyways, in City Skylines 2, when you disable motion blur, you get rid of that. You get rid of that like intoxicating feeling. Anyways, all of my other settings are on high, as you could see here, like the anti-aliasing and everything else, the qual the cloud quality, the ambient occlusion, and everything else is high quality. So it's just pretty easy. If you need to, make sure you pause the screen. But you're gonna see here, everything is high. Now the animation quality, which is like cars driving around and stuff like that, I did bump it down to medium. Um, if you want, you can make it hot. You can put that to high. I don't think it really will make too much of a difference. But there you go, guys. There are the City Skylines 2 graphic settings that you need to follow before you start your City Skylines game. Like I said, here's me ro moving around just the city and whatnot. And you can see here, the screen is very smooth. It's honestly not doing too bad at all. Look at that, I'm shaking it a little bit. So everything seemed to work out really, really well. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day.